Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Cass and in this video we will be talking about Eris and Aries. Uh, what is their love, sexual nature, their erotic nature, what lights them on, uh, what they're about and uh, yeah, so stay tuned. I want to thank all of you for being here. I'm very grateful for every single one of you. If you like this content, make sure to like or subscribe or comment down below if you are an Eris and Aries or if this resonates with you. Uh, I would love to hear. So Eris in Aries is a very passionate and intense, fiery sign. So Aries comes from Ares, the god of war, and Eris is the god of uh, love and sex, and sex and erotism and all of this. So Eris and Aries can also have a tendency to blend both of them. So they could have a tendency to see love like a battlefield or love is war or uh, there's a certain aspect to sexual conquest that make it very like they become a warrior. <laughs> Also, Aries rule the head, so these people can get very hot-headed in bed or when it comes to their sexual passions or just their passion in general, it kind of all goes to the head. Uh, they could be uh, wants to kind of blush or have it uh, transpire in their faces. Um, also, Aries uh, represents calcination in the alchemical process. So which is very interesting because uh, Eris likes transform transformative sex, deep sexual unions. So um, this Eris in particular could very well um, mean that these individuals go through a process of calcination when they have very passionate sexual encounters. So the calcination process, basically it burns everything and to uh, leave the ashes and through the ashes you uh, kind of purify everything and you turn lead into gold. So if you are uh, Eris Aries uh, and you have people triggering this point in your chart, then sometimes the passion burns so intense and so hot that you calcinate yourself and through sexual unions or through very intense passions this is what is going to lead you to profound transformations and eventually merging with your own self and recognizing who you really are and your yeah your own deepest self so this is one of the air signs that have burning passions that are so hard to contain, especially if if you have Aries and Aries and you have a lot of fire in your chart or a lot of air, then that could be even more amplified. If you're someone who has more uh, earthy placements or water placements, then it could just kind of add this spark and this flame uh, to your unions, to your sexual encounters that makes you less kind of like earthy and grounded and down to earth and when you feel the the passion overwhelming you, then it's like it's very passionate, it's very fiery. If you have a lot of fire, um, you may want to <laughs> know this about yourself, um, know that you have an heiress that has a tendency to flare and fire up, and the passions are gonna be like even more intense, even more fiery, even more all-consuming, and like with anything with fire, you can get burnt, so <laughs> it's good to know, so you keep your passions kind of in check and you know this aspect of yourself so you're like okay I'm I'm fiery I'm gonna kind of tame myself down. So their erotic nature well Aries is like I said is the god of war uh, it is the warrior of the zodiac it likes to conquer to conquer uh, chase and conquer so love can be seen as a conquest it can be uh, something that really takes them like the passion they need to they need to be victorious they need to win in love they need to come out on top uh, and even in like the sexual expression of it it could be very messy like very messy sex very like rough sex like something that's hot and steamy um, a bit of fighting a bit of hair pulling a bit of nails in the mix um, so yeah so these these are usually very passionate lovers and they kind of like also a little bit of the lust aspect of love um, but it is something that is going to help them kind of 
fuel all of the rest of their passion, all of the rest of the areas in their lives when they feel like they have this, this burning passion for someone. This could play out. So like I said, for them, love can be war. Um, and one thing is that as a warrior, you may have been wounded or felt like love is a battle, love is hard. Uh, yeah, because it's, it's, the, it's the warrior element. So maybe those people also didn't have it so easy when it came to actually actually love. They may have had a lot of passionate uh, encounters in their lives, things that flare up and flare down as quickly as they flared up. Um, so sustaining a flame can be something that's a little harder for Eris and Aries. And usually that happens, especially when they're looking for this passion to be found somewhere that is not inside of themselves. So if Eris and Aries is looking outside of themselves to find this fiery passion and this burning desire, then usually that's when they are going to maybe hop like relationship to relationship or partners to partners in order to always find this stimulation uh, to get this passion, this outburst of passion. So that's why this Eris is going to be uh, needed to kind of... Uh, handle themselves and and understand that they have to find their own burning fires within themselves their passions uh, what they're passionate about is going to be really good for them in the long run to find like a stable partner or if they're looking to settle down because this could this could be a placement and and you have to also look at the rest of the chart. If it's b badly expected, it's one of the placements that could lead to boredom in um, committed relationships and looking at something outside of the relationship in order to kind of trigger their own inner passion and fire. And if you look at my Eris video, I speak of two different Eris. So there's the more the immature Eris, the one that's like pre-union with their own souls and the the more mature eras that comes after uh, the whole process of coming to term with themselves and being able to be vulnerable and to be able to kind of let their weapons down and let someone else in, like in the myth of Eris and Psyche, when Eris didn't want to be seen by Psyche, um, he was kind of keeping his guards up. And with Eris and Aries, as they may seem, uh, they may think that love is war or love is abuse or love is is pain or is hard and you always have to fight in love um, then it may be harder for them to put their weapons down and be vulnerable so maybe in the first parts of their lives when they're a little less mature um, they they may have more of a tendency of fight or flight mode and not wanting to be seen not wanting to be vulnerable wanting to be in control of their their passions in control maybe also of the other of the partner so something to look at with Eris and Aries <laughs> so when Eris is a little bit more on the mature side uh, it means that they came to term with themselves they're willing to be seen they're willing to be vulnerable but also they know who they are and they know what their passions are and especially with this Eris it is very important for them to find their passions and find the one flame that is going to be burning forever and own it. Uh, then they can more likely have uh, long lasting relationships and committed partnerships because if they have it within themselves, they don't need to look for it in someone else. And so they m might have a tendency to be more faithful than when Eris is more on the immature side. And also regarding the inner divine masculine, this is the warrior, this is a warrior type, Eris and Aries. It's going to fight for their passion, it's going to fight for the people they love as long as the flame is still burning, but it is something that can happen with, the, with those if they haven't found this passion within. The flame is up and down, you never know when it's going to go off, it's never, you never know when it's going to go on. It's kind of a very quick process and it happens as quick as it, uh, it stops as quick as it happened. 
So also Aries is a sign of standing up for who you are. It is the sign that is like, I am. So they, they need to learn to be really independent in who they are. Their own inner divine masculine is very independent. It is a warrior. It is going to fight. Uh, but they need to have a reason to fight for all of this. And also one thing interesting, their relationship to food. <laughs> Aries and Aries, you may see them. They're going to be eating very quick, very fast. It's like, it doesn't stop. It's like almost <laughs> compulsive in nature. Um, lots of stamina, lots of um, willpower and passion when it's ignited. Uh, but there are a few things to be careful about. So that was my take on Eris and Aries. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Join the fam. It is my pleasure to be here. And I love you all so much. And I'll see you in my next video.